Today I'm going to show you exactly how to take a flyback transformer, take a ballast, and go ahead and hook them together to make your high voltage spark. Okay, I just want to show you guys this is my flyback. I got my multimeter here set on conductivity, okay? And I basically I'm going to find the pins here that we can set this up and we're going to uh, drive this with a ballast. So you're going to take these in here and you're going to touch each one. You're going to get a reading, okay? This one's obviously conductive together. This one isn't. This next set is not. No. Right. There, we got another conductive set. No. 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 And no. So we have this one. And this one. This one's higher than the other one. We're going to connect our ballast to these two right here. Okay. Okay, here's our ballast right here. Here's the cables coming out of it. I have three. I have a blue one, another blue one, and a red one. Now, don't let this confuse you. We're only going to use two. Okay, so pick one of the blue ones and one of the red ones. Okay, and we're good to go. Does it matter which blue one you pick? No, it does not. This one just gets capped off, and we'll leave it alone. On the other side of this, we just have hot and common. Okay, this is normal AC wiring from your wall. We're just going to hook it into a plug here. Here we go. This is our plug. We got the cable. Let's look over here. It's real simple. Black goes to black. White goes to white. Okay. There's no ground wire in this one. It's a straight up regular two. Okay. We go into our ballast. What are we using here today? This is it. Get that number right there if you want it. Okay. And basically we're just going to be putting some higher voltage into this. Okay. So now what's the next step? We're going to hook it to our flyback right here. Now we're going to solder this in and you may have a question does it matter which side blue goes on or which side red goes on and the answer is no does not matter all that matters is that we solder them in so here we go solder that one in it's good to go here we go that stuff flows right on there and stays there okay we are we are good to go now we're in testing man that's it this is this is our driver so let's see if we can make it work we're gonna get this experiment going we have uh, right here our flyback our ballast our cable we're gonna hook that in and then uh, we're gonna spark it up we went ahead and plugged in a wire here so that we can check and see which one is our ground wire here okay on the back so take a second plug this in we are now live okay so let's take a look over here we just got to find out which one makes the arc Ooh, it likes that one there we go oh yeah it likes that one a lot okay let's get a closer See. Oh, well, that's a cool effect, but it's not what we're looking for. This is a really good one here. <laughs> it's that one right there. And there you go. That's your uh, ground right there. We're going to go ahead and hook a wire to that, and then... Uh, we got our spark. All right, we're all set here. We just wired out of the last uh, wire on the ballast. We went ahead and hooked in our negative right here for the bottom. We have both parts hooked into uh, a simple spark gap here. And it is live right now, so I can smell the ozone. So let's go ahead and move it in and get our spark. And here we are. 
right there. So it can go out a little further. But that's about where it likes to be. So this is real simple. We got about, what, maybe an inch out of this thing, a little less, three quarters, about right there. I can go up to an inch. But that's it. This is our experiment. All right, so there it is. There's the ballast running it, okay? And then there's your flyback, okay? And there's your spark. Enjoy. Thanks, guys.